Uh, today we have Dr. Baldev Singh Olak and he is uh, practicing at Ikai Hospital Ludhiana as Chief Urologist and Transplant Surgeon. Well, we're going to be talking about kidney stone management and of course BPH. Very welcome sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. So very first question is going to cover the kidney stone management. Why do you think the number of kidney stones are on high rise these days? Actually, kidney stones are high because population is increasing in number one. That's why the number of cases are more. Uh, secondly, our habits are changing. Sedentary lifestyle, eating habits, not drinking too much liquids, water intake, all these things, they lead to more uh, cases of kidney stones. Right. Right. Well, uh, I would be asking you to recall one of your most challenging cases where uh, the patient was there and that the, the situation was very critical and how you dealt with that patient. Yeah, we get a lot of challenging cases like uh, kidney stones are there, there is only one kidney and that too is destroyed by the stones and stones are so complicated that removing them might not damage the kidney more and that the patient might not land up into end stage kidney failure or get the dialysis done. So these kind of cases are very, very difficult to treat, uh, especially when there is only one kidney in the body because 10% of people might have only one kidney in the uh, body. So treating these cases by whatever modality becomes challenging, but then we have to do it. Yes, yes, right. Well, in your experience, what precautions uh, can a patient effectively take in order to avoid the kidney stones and also to avoid the recurrent stones? Yeah, the patient who are having tendency to form the stone may have 50% chances of forming the stone again. So the precautions what the patient need to take one is take a lot of water, 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 liquids. So they should consume a lot of water so that the color of their urine is watery. It should yeah. not be yellow, light yellow, dark yellow. So drinking more water, passing more urine will flush out the small stones. So this is the best precaution. Then they should stay healthy, active, right. exercise. They should not be having sedentary lifestyle and eating in different habits. So they should eat in moderate, stay active, do exercise, drink a lot of liquids and get their body checkup done every three to six months to avoid kidney damage. Because stones, why stones are dangerous? Stones are dangerous because they damage the kidney working. Right. Once the kidney working is gone, then the patient is put on dialysis or they will need new kidney, kidney transplant. So that's why they have to take precautions to get rid of their stones at the earliest possible stage so that there is no damage to the kidneys. Well, what are the greatest uh, misconceptions a patient with kidney stones have? Would you like to break any misconceptions mm. and myths? Yeah. Uh, sometimes patient will say, I have gallstone, I might not get kidney stone. Gallstone, the kidney stone, they are not related to each other. Yeah. Secondly, they will say if we uh, drink, uh, uh, like uh, they will stop drinking milk or something like that, they, they, that might not lead to more kidney uh, stone formation. Yeah. So let me tell you, low calcium intake also increases sometimes the chance of more stone formation. Mm -hmm. So they should have balanced diet. True. They can have. True. The, uh, precaution, as I told you, should be the best to take a lot of water. Mm -hmm. Then there is a misconception that... Uh, if I get the stones removed by one kind of modality, I may not get another stone. But let me tell you, uh, getting stone removed by whatever modality, like we have advanced lasers, we have endoscope, we have the small cameras which can go into the kidney and can remove the stone. But now these days, big cut, cuts on the body are not required to remove the stone. Right. So by whatever modality they get the stones removed, the chances of forming stone again depend upon your body habitus and your body structure because some some patients are more prone to stone formation some are less prone to form. so uh, by uh, any way you get the stones move that does not cause reformation of the stones right. this is what they should understand well uh, i would also request you to talk a little bit about bph and uh, would love if you say if you tell our viewers that why the cases of bph are on high rise these days Again, I will say the BPH is on uh, increasing trend because number one, population is increasing. Yes. Number two, in our country now, the age uh, uh, survival is increasing. Hence, the elderly patients in uh, society, they are increasing. Because this, this BPH is related to stone opening age. After 50 years of age, 50% will get enlargement of the prostate called BPH. After 70 years of age, 70% of the people get enlargement of the prostate. So, because population is increasing, our survival is increasing, hence there are more patients with BPH. Well, why it becomes so important for a patient to get it diagnosed as early as possible and to not delay the process? 
Yes, they should get their diagnosis once they are getting the problem because this affects the quality of life. BPH, like a patient has to avoid urine again and again, they might have to get up at night, they might be sitting in a meeting, they might have to go to the loo. So their, their social life is disturbed, hence they should get it checked up. Secondly, if they don't get it checked up at the early stage, they ignore it, sometimes the people will get kidney failure, sometimes they will get formation of the stones, sometimes they will get the repeated infections. Hence it is very important to get it diagnosed time at time and get it treated by the uh, concerned urologist. Well, uh, any lifestyle modifications a person can have in order to avoid this and of course I am talking about 40 to 50 years old age. Uh, I don't think uh, you can avoid BPH if BPH is too going to develop in the body but there are certain food habits like eating a lot of broccoli, eating a lot of tomatoes or something like the changing, eating less of protein, animal protein might have some chance of not uh, getting the enlargement of prostate, especially cancer of the prostate. Yeah. So this can, and again, stay healthy, don't be obese, don't be overweight. They will help you to have a less chances of a cancer prostate. Any take home message for our viewers, sir? Yeah, for both the brain prostate, hyperplasia and kidney stone, you need to know about these conditions. You, you need to understand what life modification can help you to prevent these conditions. Like I told you, stay active, healthy, less uh, or lose weight and drink a lot of liquids. And lastly, most important, if you are going to get this kind of condition, must get it checked up from a, uh, your urologist and get it treated at the earlier stage when it needs treatment. Right. So as to avoid kidney damage, kidney failure and you know go, you going on the dialysis and all other complications. Right. Thank you so much sir for your valuable insights. We are very glad to have Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.